Hello everyone, welcome to this first session of uh, Groovy. We will start from very basic of Groovy. As we all know that uh, when we, whenever we use SOPY, so for a scripting purpose, we, be, we use this Groovy as a scripting language. Right? So we'll go through some basics of Ruby in this session and how it will be helpful and uh, in our uh, in when we proceed uh, further in this course so we'll see that. So I uh, hope that you cover all the uh, videos uh, earlier about the uh, SOPY how we, uh, you can uh, create project, how can you create a suite, uh, etc. and uh, how uh, uh, verify your uh, response like uh, creating by assertions and all. Right? So, uh, I expect those things you have already covered and from here we will start Groovy and we will see how we can use this Groovy uh, in our uh, those uh, uh, things we learned earlier, right? So Groovy uh, is a uh, uh, very similar to Java. You can say Groovy Java, and Java is Groovy. Uh, you can uh, if you have written your code in Java, so you can use in Groovy as well. So there is a similar syntax pattern in Groovy as well and actually uh, this Groovy is built upon the Java. So inside this Groovy actually Java is there and it has some other enhanced fe features okay. So where you can uh, use as this, this as a scripting language as well like uh, we have seen like Python, Ruby and other scripting language. So you can also use this as a scripting language. So this is the benefit of Groovy. And actually when you compile your code, what you have written, so it compiles into Java bytecodes. So it, you can use anywhere uh, where uh, you have JVM, Java Virtual Machine, anywhere directly you can use, right? So this is an overview of Groovy. Now let's start uh, how we can use in uh, SOAP EY. So for this we will create one uh, project okay, and uh, we will give name to this uh, introduction to introduction to Groovy right okay we are we are not uh, giving any uh, visual here so we have created introduction to Groovy uh, sorry uh, I think uh, I yeah right now what we will do we'll create one test suite in this okay so we will uh, give name uh, basic Groovy test suite right what happened uh, yeah so we have created uh, one project inside that we have created one uh, test suite now we will go and create one uh, test case as I think you have already created those things so let's create so we have created one test case also right now we will add one step in this so you can right click on the test case and go here and so here a lot of options are there, you already use these things. So just go and uh, 
click groovy script okay name it as uh, groovy introduction this uh, step we are giving name groovy introduction right team so we are ready for this uh, now we will start uh, some basic concept in this session how uh, we can declare variables how we can uh, print something like this okay so if you see your uh, this thing uh, on the right hand side uh, this uh, there is a written that script is invoked with log on text and test run, test run variable so we will come and see uh, in coming session uh, how we can use these things but uh, for now we will use this log okay so how we print something when where you want to print something so very simple in this in this editor you just write uh, log dot info and hello world right team and just click here uh, okay so uh, okay sorry for this okay okay so uh, just uh, go and click this run and it will print here whatever you want to print okay so this way you can print any information you want right like I want to print something else uh, log.info basic class of or you can say introduction Ruby introduction writing just go and click here uh, this run button this green run button whenever you want to execute something go and click here it will print that okay groovy introduction we have printed here and if you want to clear this uh, uh, window message window so just click uh, right click and uh, you can uh, select this option clear so it will clear that again if you want to run it will print again right so now uh, we have seen how to uh, print any information right now we'll see uh, how we define variables uh, variables okay so uh, Ruby has provided a very uh, straightforward uh, like Java we have to mention everything what it with the uh, types of variable which type it, data types it is like uh, if you want to declare an integer or if you want to declare any uh, string we need to provide int, int, int or uh, string but here if you go and just uh, write define like def and uh, you can say uh, x and uh, if you are going to give a uh, 10 right so now we have defined it as a x as a integer Writing the same way if we go and uh, write like uh, y is equal to uh, 12.5 right so y we have declared y as a double so we are not giving anything like a uh, uh, integer or double uh, before uh, defining that variable only we are give, de, giving uh, this define keyword and we can declare all those variable okay now if you want to declare any string just okay so you can say uh, hello right so this variable we have defined z as a string so it depends upon how uh, you define uh, means, uh, how you are assigning your variables so it will be uh, that kind of data type so uh, let's go and uh, like uh, I want to print x value right 
so x uh, as I, uh, earlier I show you uh, that uh, whenever you want to print something so just we can print this way log dot info and if you want I want to print uh, x value so we can I can go here and just run this uh, okay so see uh, value of x is printed here next uh, okay so it's uh, let's make more clearer this so comment this so uh, it is comment you, uh, you can put by putting two forward slashes right like Java we uh, use two forward slashes to comment any line okay so here uh, now run it again or just clear this window before okay now run this script you you got the answer here okay value of x is 10 okay now we can print also log.info y same way log.info z right team and you can run this so everything uh, okay so uh, before uh, Proceeding, I think I haven't saved this, so let's save this one. Okay, I'll save uh, uh, in this folder. Okay, team. So make sure that uh, whenever you uh, create any project, to uh, just save that, and so that you, you will not. Uh, mm, uh, this is a good habit to save your projects. Uh, when you, uh, first time when you create it so that you don't lose any data or okay so this way we can we can print any information of variable so just let's modify this thing uh, like uh, I want this way so how here I'll show you how to concatenate okay So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, here I will we'll go and uh, we'll see uh, how can concatenate uh, two things. So, uh, just in this way I will go and put like log info and I have given value of x. Okay. So in uh, we can put a plus sign here and X right team so just clear uh, this and uh, execute okay so you, now you can see that uh, this whole string is uh, getting printed here value of X is 10 right the same way we can uh, print others as well so here uh, we, we are uh, seeing that how we can concatenate to uh, a string with anything okay y and uh, here z so make sure you have cleared this window so then you can be result here only team okay so here we go so value of x is 10 value of y is 12.5 value of z is hello right so this way we can uh, con uh, concatenate sorry concatenate two strings okay or anything we want to print with the string and that uh, what the variables we have defined so suppose uh, uh, there is one variable called uh, a and you want to add something like uh, if you want to add x and y okay so we can say x plus y and let's print this uh, a so we can say sum of x and y is a okay team and we will put here like a. so 
uh, make sure uh, just comment these things okay okay so clear this window if we not not clearing this window no problem we can see in the okay so here uh, sorry here sum of x and y right you can run again you can scroll this one and uh, sum of x y is 22.5 right so this way we can add subtract anything uh, operation uh, operation you can perform here so this way we can uh, perform our basic uh, operations and basic thing if you want to print something you can use log.info or if you want to concatenate a string you can use like this way right so I think uh, we are going a very uh, in right direction so if you have any question just let me know so okay so I uh, so in next session we will start with some uh, uh, statements like uh, if else and uh, some other loops we can we will see like uh, how to we can use for loop okay so uh, bye for now we'll meet in the next session thank you